Is it Storage Wars where they buy the containers without seeing anything inside? That's basically what that's we what did. That's what it is, that's yeah, yeah. That's basically what we did. <laughs> yeah, no, we had a little inkling, a little clue, but basically Storage Wars. <laughs> How you doing, brother? I'm Ken. How are you? How was the trip? The trip was good? I'm hopeful, but you know, I, I don't know what we're gonna find when we open the box. Wow. Oh boy, this is fresh, look at this. All right. All right, you're good, bring it in. Straighten it out, straighten it out. Oh. So we bought this load sight unseen, Stockton, California, out of a storage unit. And we really weren't sure what kind of shape the bikes are gonna be in. Right. But first glance, it, look, it looks promising. That definitely looks promising, absolutely. So we gotta get some flamboyant character now, you know, to kind of take over for us on our storage wars. Look at this lot, oh my God, wow. Ron, y'all know the deal. What's up? What's up? Oh. There they are, H1. <laughs> wow. There's sardine in there, huh, my friend? Yeah. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's a lot of bites. Yeah, these weren't easy. The guy was living, he couldn't get from Colorado to Cali. Oh, shit. He, he didn't have the money to get back there, and his storage was overdue, and they were going to repossess it all. How are they? They are nice. Are they? Yeah. Dude, look at the tank on this car. What do you have there, Billy? Yeah, we got the H1. Look at that. Got it, man. Wow, that, she's baby. been sitting for a while, huh? But the chrome, the paint looks great. Yep. Yeah, I think it hasn't been ridden in a, a little bit. Wow, look at the pipes. Mint, man. Dude. Period, proper pipes. Bingo. Well, here's the moment of truth. Yes! Whoa! That's a lot of compression right there, man. It's still got gas in it. Maybe it'll start. Yeah, right. <laughs> it smells like... Wow, this thing's probably sat for 10 years. Yeah, almost without a doubt. And storage units aren't kind to bikes, you know. They don't... Because they, uh, they have concrete floors and metal buildings, you know. They sweat. Right. But this one looks like a true survivor. Oh. This is an 07... Wow. YZ125. Oh. And, wow, look at that thing. Whoa. That's pretty clean. Dude, this thing's ready for the 125 Dream Race. Engine's super clean. Look at the oversized foot pegs. Wheel set looks great. Wow, nice, Ron. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta steal it at home, right? That would be an upgrade for me, yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah. Look at that thing. Uh, yes, that'd be a good idea. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, oh boy. boy. 97 CR125 steel frame. Look at that. Nice, Leo. Oh. Woo! Look at that. That, oh. Leo, hold your horses, brother. I had to check the frame rails. Wow! <laughs> They're perfect, Billy. Cali frame rails? <laughs> oh, man. Just, just sand? No rocks? Oh, there's there's no there's no dents at all. Oh, she's... Yeah, that's, that's the good old Cali frame rails. Uh. Look at the frame paint, too. It's like... Like you That's know, mint. from the factory, the imprint is a per perfectly visible, and they start to crust over a little bit in the hole because it's bare bare metal. That's how you you know the bike's got no time on it. Right, it's not been molested, not repainted. Yeah, low hour bike for it's sure. Like new new front brake pads and stuff. These are all a bunch of cream puffs built. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, that, was, that one's got tight suspension links. Here, I got it. I got it. You do step. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at Thanks, that. Man. Yeah. No, nothing. Thank you, sir. Yeah, this is not the type of pick where we got to, you know, view the frame rails of every bike. Yeah, yeah, you know? I know we had to kind of, well, and we couldn't. It was impossible. It was I mean, impossible. The, the seller was in a different state. He was, he was hundreds of miles away and he couldn't get there, unfortunately. So the, yeah. the picks we had were the picks that we had. Yeah, right. We had just some overview picks, flyover picks. Yes, right. He said, I think he this said is an 06 strongly. KX250F with the Two Brothers pipe. Look, all these bikes have new tires on them, man. Look at this with the uh, pro circuit clamps. We got a CR250F right behind it. CRF250? Yeah. Right behind it? Wow. 
Dude, all these bikes are like pristine, Kyle. Yeah, these are actually really low. Look at this twin wall bars on the KX250F, PC clamp and bar mounts. You know, mint, rental, half waffle grips, original seat covers like mint, original wheel set. Like these, these bikes are pristine, they got no time. It's getting dirty, but not today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. How many miles? Ah, miles, 3,000. 3,000 miles to deliver these bikes to the museum. 3,000 miles in two days, three days? Four days. Four days. No sleep. 74. Minty with a sticker on the fender and on the tank. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is that aluminum? Yep, factory gas tank. Oh my gosh. This is a beauty. Oh, oh. Billy, your favorite. Oh, the RD. Something from the RD series. It's got something piled up on it, though. I know. Dude. First year? First year, 74, yeah. 74, 250, 70. 250. Yep. The tank's like pristine. It's got a couple dents in it, but we happen to know a guy. <laughs> yeah, PDR guy. <laughs> Maximum dent repair. You could actually probably uh, just unscrew this and blow blow, blow air in there. Yeah, boom, right pop right Mike, out. You can you can pop that out for us? Yeah, I think we can get rid of her. Dude, put that on the list like today. Take care of that. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, Billy, <laughs> blow. <laughs> you get it, Bill? <laughs> Still going. Shit, dude, look at the work shocks, Bill. Dude. Dude, look cool. at the 125. The split fire. It's Easily like 97. They're stroke out. TX 125. <laughs> like all the frame rails are mint. You know, the Cali bikes. Like out here, it should get smashed. The hollow frame tubes. Scratched apart. Right. Like all these bikes, like mechanically, they're mint. Like half and half, like new brakes and new tires and shit. Like they're race bikes. M misfits? Did he want misfits in there? Did he say? Oh, we're all oh assistance. Well, could could either be either or, I guess. You can take it, Leo. Wow, that thing is clean. AT3 MX. What do you got there, Kenny? <laughs> Jesus. It could be an 80. Early plastic tank. It could be an 80. Yes. Look at that thing. Oh my God. It's got a new wheel set on it. The forks look really good. Look at that, that's an original pipe. I don't see a single dent maybe of a repair there, but wow. Much loved. You can tell, I mean, a bike that's prepped like this and this, I mean, this is a guy, that, a person that loves their motorcycle when they do this. They're getting ready to go to their Arma races. Right, oversized pig mod. Yeah, yeah, oversized pig mod. That's where this bike was used. These are Amar numbers, Arma numbers. Only nicer. Only nicer. And the RD, we didn't take a good look at the RD. Wow, Billy, oh. look at the tank on this thing. Can you handle that? Looks really good. 3,000 miles on it, Bill. Really? Oh, and I have the, the key for it. Key. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, right? Holy smokes. Front fender looks good. A little dent or two, but I've seen worse. Got it, man. Thank you, sir. All right. Leo, Thank you. the Husky. Husky. Little 125 guy. Wow. Nice. What do you got over there, Bill? You can, you can hear the reeds going oh. boop, boop. Yeah, it's clean, turns over beautifully, got lots of compression. Oh, it's a winner. So, guys, my brother Marat from Kazakhstan, he landed the plane for us. Good, good work, <laughs> brother. Thank you very much. Here's a check. Thank you for getting them all back home safely. It's uh, freaking awesome. What's the name of your company in case uh, the viewers want uh, need a shipment? Enit LLC. Enit LLC. It's E N I T L L C. You can call 786 342 8752. All right. For all your thank transport you. needs. So, Marat, thank you, brother. Thank I appreciate you. it big time. Safe travels. Thank you. All right. Stay Very tuned, cool. guys. We're going to do videos highlighting every bike in the lineup here running. Each one's going to be gone through by the techs here and serviced down in the detail shop. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, <laughs> and God bless America. God bless America, yeah. What's happening, fellas? I walked up here and I said, is somebody filming this? This is awesome. It's not every day you get a split fire Kawasaki rolling off the truck. There's 16 other bikes in here that we bought sight unseen from You're a storage container in Stockton. I am beyond excited. Yeah, they're, wow. they're in great shape. It's better than uh, 
32 to 1 coffee in the morning. What year is the CR? 97? 97. Man, I'd love to rip that thing. I know. <laughs> I'll take it to Dylan and send it. What year is the YZ? That's an 06 or 07 wow. YZ 125. These are freaking outstanding bikes. Where do these come from? Stockton, California. Hey, boys, check it out. This is the detail shop here. I don't know if you've been in here before, but this is where the magic happens. See the sign up there that says Docs? We call it Docs Haberdashery. He's been here the longest. He's been here since the beginning of time. <laughs> and uh, Kyle, Kyle's been here about six years, seven years? Yeah, six years. Since he was 16 years old. Junior's been here. Junior was born here, actually. <laughs> yeah, born, so, actually born and raised here in the office. Check out, did you show him the Rokon automatic? I did. They've, they've seen this. Oh my God, the thing is so badass. Look at the rims on it. And th this right here is uh, a good friend of mine, Mark DeCandy, a long story. Uh, his dad owned the Sunoco shop right up the street from my house, and we grew up buying our 94 octane Sunoco race fuel from him. And uh, this is a flat track. He raced motocross too. His kids race now. Did you, did you show him the 15? The yeah. AF? This has been sort of behind the scenes, but she's going to get absolute up. dime piece. Billet cases. This was built new. this year by AJ Wagoner. One of, I think he's only built like a half a dozen bikes this Small year. Handful, Small handful. Small handful. As a matter of fact, I talked to AJ. I had a long conversation with him last night. We got two brand new, the only two brand new CR500 AFs in the world that will be uh, delivered here, here either before or after bike week. I'm not sure. A 2022 and a 2021 CR500 AF. Got some really, really uh, um, top secret stuff done to them. Uh, Eric Gore actually did the porting on it and actually put a uh, big bore 539cc cylinder on it. So it'll, it's a brand new 2022. And we sent out the, the case's entire engine and had it uh, machine polished like chrome. The whole motor is polished aluminum. It's gonna be the nicest CR500F ever on the planet. That's the goal anyways, and that's the plan. And when you have a goal and you have a plan, you create the future in advance. <laughs> that's the truth. So. Without check the, goals. Check out the Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what is this? 74? What? The OG. This just came off the truck? Yeah, Mikey's going to pull the dent out oh of the tank. Oh, my God. L look at my that. Heart, my, I swear to God, my heart's beating faster. If I had a blood pressure monitor, it just went up. Man, if this doesn't, if this doesn't get your juices flowing, you might be dead. <laughs> Check your pulse rate. I love the Yami, too. It's the 74. 73. Wow, 83. With, the, with 73, 83, with the straighter engineering pipe. The, the works performance shocks, original paint. What a beauty. It's an AT3 Holy MX. Holy moly. This is rare. Hey, this is one of those rare occasions that you guys, did you roll something downstairs? Yeah, they're all downstairs. Wow. What do we got over here? CRF 250R? Nice. Like that. Never seen oh, yeah, KX steel. Oops. Yeah. yeah. Isn't Late that KX. sick? Those are the original factory rims, right? That's, is that a 2000? 97, I think. Or 98, yeah. This is my brother, uh, Marat. He's from Kazakhstan. What's going on, man? You hooked us up, man. You got some that. Where, where, where'd you bring these from? What state? They came from San Francisco. You drove all the way cross country? No, I picked up in San Francisco. Oh, San Francisco? How long did it take you to get here? 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles? Did you get any sleep or did you drink a lot of Red Bull? Red Bull's your friend, and, and Red Bull and nicotine. Hey, you got Carlsbad, California. You got to pick up new coffee. They have a coffee called 32 to 1. Carlsbad? Uh, Carlsbad, California. I live in Oceanside. Okay, there's a company, look it up. It's called New NOO Coffee Company. They have the strongest coffee you can possibly get. You will, you will drive all the way home and, and not, not need a nap. <laughs> I had a cup this morning, if you can't tell. Yeah, they made it here in one piece. That's all, brother. We just wanted to say thank you. Um, okay, great, great. So I'm stay tuned for the videos. You know, one of the, one of the reasons that, that I wanted to, to sell them to you guys is I knew they, they go to the right place. and uh, It meant a lot to me to do that, too.